Hey, what up, y'all? Plan of the Fix here. When you're looking at Jade Evans and Delane Bostic, they basically, if I'm not mistaken, moved from New York to South Carolina, no, North Carolina, Fayetteville, North Carolina. And this is another case of child abuse. And I'm sure we're going to see witnesses come to the forefront and claim she's a good mother and he's a good father. But a toddler, 18 pounds, with a fractured skull, that's a sign of abuse. So y'all got to tell me, what is the correlation between New York and then going down south that make people care less about their kids? Is it the fact that it's less monitoring? Because I know up north, there's a lot of monitoring of children, doctors, schools, everybody basically keeps eyes on children. Now, I don't know how often babies, you know, interact with the system, social workers or caseworkers down south. But in the city, it's like every month it's caseworkers checking on people, kids. So that might be a factor because I just showed y'all the story of the dude with the um, four kids. And one basically, you know, allegedly shot himself, you know, and then sitting there talking about he's a good parent. But this is a whole other story here. They basically took the toddler to the hospital, and the doctors noticed that the child was malnourished and been eating its own feces. Yes, man, the child was eating its own feces. This is a terrible story, man. And these people, they're gonna, you can tell they're gonna throw the book at them hard. Their bells are like $250, man. You bring them an 18 pound child that eats their own feces to survive, man. You know, people, I got some people's opinions and they're basically saying, if the death penalty was on the table, they would get it. And the funny thing about it, they don't know if the child survived or not, so I got to stay updated with that, and I'm going to keep y'all updated. Anyway, send prayers out to that child and to the family that really loves this child, because there's no doubt in my mind, I don't know. It's something about these online personalities and profiles that got people thinking, as long as their profile is up to par, their life is up to par, because you can look at their Facebook, you'll never see any type of you know, remnants of any type of neglect from a child or whatever. But now look, they got one picture of the child and the child is very, very skinny, y'all. Anyway, if the video don't start when I stopped talking, what you heard and saw was the content. For additional content, click the link in the description. Like, follow, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, visit my community wall. And if you have time, go to www.amore-eager.com backslash TV. That's our plan of the fakes, too. This is 2020. What?